Hey guys, welcome back for a uh, uh, for part five of the Game Wired uh, September 1999 Game Pro Edition uh, or issue uh, review. So let's take a look here. Uh, WrestleMania 2000 advertisement. Army Men, Sarge's Heroes uh, review here. The, uh, not too bad, 4.0 out of 5 for a fun factor. Uh, the Nintendo 64 review of the new Tetris. Actually, very, very much got a high score. 5.0 for a fun factor out of 5. So, Tetris scored really well. Tonic Trouble, I don't remember anything about that. I don't know what that was, but didn't score very, very good. Um, what else we got? Here's a Mortal Kombat Gold advertisement. Dark Stone, never played that. There's a sports pages. This was um, uh, an, uh, an area I really enjoyed because I love sports games. Uh, Madden NFL 2000 is a preview for that. And this is September's issue, so um, usually October would be the issue. You would get the reviews on the football games. Um, So yeah, it looks like you got a Madden NFL going up against NFL Game Day. So that was the rivalry before NFL 2K came out. Um, and again, ultimately, EA Sports bought, monopolized the uh, football, football, American football uh, industry uh, for video games. Let's see, NFL Blitz 2000 preview for the 64 and the PlayStation. Uh, probably a little bit of a difference in graphics, probably favoring in that of the 64 version. Uh, NASCAR 2000. Uh, NCAA Game Breaker 2000 preview. Supercross 2000. NHL 2000 for the PlayStation. Um, that was for EA Sports' is NHL. Let's take a look there. So what else we got? There's an advertisement, NFL Blitz, NHL Championship 2000. That was the uh, sports interactive game. I enjoyed that because uh, with that game, you see there, they had um, the tracker for the puck. All right, the tracker for the puck. Well, that was pretty neat to see. Um, so that, I remember seeing that. NBA Basketball two, uh, 2000. And uh, NHL Faceoff, which was Sony's um, Sony's first party uh, development team, working on that. Final Fantasy Nine or Eight uh, that came out on nine nine ninety nine as well. Um, probably suffered a hit because of the Dreamcast launch uh, that same day. NFL Extreme Two, like I mentioned earlier, was the NFL Blitz uh, Sony's version of the NFL Blitz series um it did get pretty good in the fun factor let's read fun factor nfl extreme 2 budges uh, bulges at the pigskin seams with the most raucous arcade style football action so far this season given the game's multitude of modes kick-ass graphics and lightning fast gameplay you'd be a chump to pass up this champ wow so it got pretty good ratings not bad Duke Nukem Zero Hour, Mario Golf scored really high. Fun factor, five out of five. Put your money where your Mario is. Let's read the graphics, 4.5 out of five. Pleasing graphics, humorous references to other Mario games, and smooth texture keep Mario one stroke ahead of Wiley Country Club, True Golf Classics. It would have been nice to play as someone over three feet tall, though. Um, fun factor: Mario's golf, Mario golf's a great game and great fun. It also it's also a fine four-player game, so you can add Mario to your library of multiplayer party opportunities with Mario Party and Super Smash Brothers. Uh, let's see here: Freedom to Play. Is it kind of like a wireless controller for your PlayStation? You know, wire, that was before, way before wireless was even like the, the normal 
Jade Cocoon RPG for the PlayStation scored pretty good. 4.5 out of 5 for the fun factor. Fun factor reads, Hours of exploring and monster mixing fun lie ahead for discerning gamers. Uh, the arena mode that enables you to play against a friend saved monsters ensures that this game won't be gathering dust any time soon. Not bad. Uh, NFL Game Day advertisements, uh, Final Fantasy VIII preview. Sudoken, Thousand Arms. I was never big on RPGs. Right? And then at the very end of the magazines, you always had these um, these strategy features where you would get uh, some tips, some hints, some walkthroughs of some games. In this case, it's the arcade uh, tag tournament for tech, tech and tag tournament. So you got some moves here that they're showing you. see here advertisement for Target again here's the uh, Street Fighter 3 third strike um, healthier uh, strategy I guess tips and hints uh, Monster Rancher 2 which was a fun game I remember Monster Rancher 1 uh, let's see here Neo Geo Pocket Color look at that advertisement for that game win back advertisement contest on the left there here's some swap pro so here's some uh, some cheats for your games so you got some cheats for three extreme rampage 2 all-star baseball 2000 beetle adventure racing for the n64 no thank you and there's an advertisement for Funko land I used to work there back in that's one of my first jobs um, and uh, I'll never forget it. it basically GameStop took it over but uh, yeah, Funko Land was GameStop uh, before GameStop became GameStop. So um, yeah, Funko Land was was the place to go, man, for your uh, for your video games. Uh, let's see, here's some more cheats. Ken Griffey Jr. Slugfest for the N64, and uh, some other games here. Superman, uh, Bloody Roar 2. There's the end. I think we're coming up to the end of Game Pro, this magazine, this issue. Uh, Game Shark advertisement. Acclaim Sports. Uh, NFL Quarterback Club 2000. That was another football game. Uh, that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you uh, for putting up with five, this five part series uh, to Game Wired's uh, Game Pro September 1999 issue review. Um, if you want to see more issue reviews, uh, let me know uh, which one you want to see. Uh, I'll do my best to find it uh, and then post a review um, of, that, uh, of that magazine. So let me know in the comments, guys, what you think, uh, what you want to see. And uh, thanks again for tuning in. Till next time.